Hello, welcome to Baking with Jay, episode one. Today, we're making chocolate chip cookies, obviously, but we're doing our special ingredient number one, which is potato chips. I know, it sounds really gross, but we're thinking that because the salt from the potato chips and the sweetness from the chocolate chips maybe they might be really good so come along with me for this journey of cookie number one and we'll see what our lovely judges and taste testers think of it when it's complete so the first step is to preheat the oven to 325 we're done. Step number two is to get one cup of salted butter. Make sure it's salted and it specifically says that it needs to be cold. So make sure it's cold. And then you have to mix with your mixer for a minute to two minutes until it's soft. So that's what we're doing now. Next step is that you have to add a cup and a half of brown sugar and it doesn't have to be packed which I think is weird because I'm used to having brown sugar packed but it's fine we're fine done and then you add two eggs egg number two and then we mix again Complete. Next step is to add two cups of flour. Make sure you clean your measuring cups before or your mom gets mad at you. <laughs> Make sure you level it out. One cup. Two cup. One teaspoon of baking soda. Again, make sure it's level. Ta-da! Are you sure that's a teaspoon? T-S-P. You Just... see, she thinks I can't do this. I'm good at baker, I swear. And then you stir to incorporate it all in there. And then slowly mix it in to your other mixy bowl. Cause you can't put it all at once or it goes everywhere. We've learned that over the years. <laughs> Next, you add two cups of chocolate chips. I recommend more, but we'll follow the recipes. Then you have to crush two cups of potato chips and put that in the mixture too. This is where things get messy. potato chips and you pour that in your mixture too and then you're gonna stir that until all the potato chips and chocolate chips are all mixed in there once you have your mixture all mixed then you're gonna bring it over to your lined parchment paper cookie pans to put the mix onto those. It says that apparently they spread a lot, so I'm not gonna put too many on there just to make sure they don't blend together. don't want the balls to be a dome so you have to press down on them so that's what we're doing now it then says that you need to take kosher salt 
and sprinkle it on top of each cookie. We don't have kosher salt, so we're using sea salt. <laughs> step is to put them in the oven for 9 to 10 minutes. The oven's going, the oven's going, the oven's going, the oven's going. Are they ready? Ooh. The final product. Ooh. What do we think of appearance? They're a little flat, but they look interesting. What I what I'm like you you can see the potato chips on them too. Here are the final products. They look kind of gross, but hopefully they taste better. We'll update you guys on what the judges think when they taste them, but most of them are at work right now, so you'll have to tune in for the scale marking later on. Thanks for joining me for episode one of Baking with Jay, cookie number one. Hopefully as we progress, I figure out angles and whatnot while filming and baking, but this is what you're getting for episode one. See you next time.